Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, I present to you a new artist for the channel. This is Matteo Mancuso. He's a guitar player, a young guy, um, heavy, heavy jazz chops. Um, I saw this guy a little bit and I knew instantly that I wanted to um, start doing reaction videos to him. Uh, he, he's interesting in the way that um, he plays without a pick. He plays with his fingers, but his facility over the instrument is just mind-blowing. So it's going to be really fun to see him play. Um, he's playing alongside Maurizio Metalli, Lalo Carrillo, and Peter Zendofi, I think that's how you pronounce his name. So this is a Larry Carlton song, Room 335. If you're familiar with Larry Carlton, then you know that's a pretty famous Larry Carlton song. So all of Larry's lines are like locked in my head. So it's going to be really interesting to see Matteo play something different. So anyway, let's... Uh, Hold the chatting for the end and let's hit that play button and check this out. Here we go. It's a very Larry Carlton tone, except with reverb. Larry usually played pretty dry. This is pretty close to the original. So far. Beautiful.
Mm. Oh my gosh. I like this run because you can see it. Wow. Oh my gosh. You know, um, when you learn an instrument and you've spent hours and hours and hours uh, learning how to get around on it and um, basically get into the point where you can play with enough speed and finesse, um, I mean, that alone is an achievement right there. It, uh, to be able to get to that point, it takes years and years and years to get there. <laughs> this guy's so super young, and I, I'm not sure how old he is, but um, it, it really is amazing how advanced this guy is. Um, it's obviously this is all he does in life is play his guitar. But the point I want to make is that it's it's not enough to be able to play your instrument well. It, 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 it allows you, it's a tool. It allows you to be able to play the things that you're thinking and, and to be able to shorten the communication between your thoughts and your imagination and your hands. But what, what really is impressive is the notes that you choose to play. And when I listen to this guy play, and, he's in, and it's no surprise that he picked Larry Carlton, because I think Larry Carlton fits in the same category of where he's coming from, uh, where Mateo is coming from. And that is having to do with your note choice and your phrasing and all of this other stuff that is the musicality of what you're doing. You know, I lived through, you know, a lot of hair bands in the 80s and the heavy metal, you know, or the rock, not the heavy metal, but the, the rock stuff, I'm speaking more specifically in the 80s, when you had these uh, guitar, you know, virtuosos around every corner. And these guys were just blaring and, and, and just like whizzing 30 second notes at uh, you know, 250 BPMs and it, it, it's impressive from a standpoint of um, technique but I don't call that music this guy is playing the most unbelievably tasty stuff and it's obviously he has the ability to, to, to do it on his instrument but what I really really loved about this and what I love about Larry Carlton is how they play through the changes. You can hear the chords in their licks. And that is what you do. If you're gonna play jazz, you better know how to do that. You should be able to play alone and do a solo and play through the changes enough so that anyone listening will know what chords you're playing over in your head. This guy has it, absolutely. I could hear him outlining all the chords, uh, transitioning from one chord to another, coming in and out. Um, so, so tastefully done, so beautifully done. And Larry Carlton was known for doing that as well. Um, I am so totally impressed by this guy. I, I can't wait to experience more of, of what he does, but man, um, I, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. You know, uh, you know, it's a little different than what I've been playing on the channel. I mean, this is more kind of getting into more of these jazz fusion stuff, you know, um, which I haven't done a lot of, but it's a big love of mine. Um, so I hope that you like it and I hope that uh, it opens you up to uh, wanting to see more of this uh, kind of stuff in, in this vein, because there's a lot there. Anyway, I hope I hope you liked it. Hope you come back for more. And uh, man, thanks for watching the channel. We'll catch you next time. Bye.